There's a huge fight in Madison Square Garden. One of the best ones that we've ever seen. Yeah, at one, so one of the best ones we've ever seen at welterweight. You call the last one. You get an opportunity to be octagon side from this one. What are you expecting from Covington Usman, especially since he says Usman's been running DC. He says he's been running, and Usman said, "I broke your face." Okay. I broke your I'm face. Trying to, Catch your breath. I'm trying to come down from all these victories. Oh my god! Right, really, I'm trying to like. I'm trying to woosa, like... First of all, these. no way you should have got the interception one. I actually... I don't know how I got that. I literally guessed, like... The undrafted dude, one was easy. I, I literally guessed, like... I was like, okay, let me try 16. Because Joe Montana was number 16. That's not why you made it. Jake <laughs> no, I'm Cody. serious. Continue. So, it's, so, anyways... Okay. So, I'm here if because... If you wait less, you would have to breathe so hard. Yes. From winning. From Well, listen. Oh, it's... I'm heavier because of the championships. <laughs> <laughs> now I've, I've gained 10 more pounds since I've been here. Now, so UFC 268. Mm -hmm. Usman Covington, two. Right. Now, Mayunis Wei Lee, two. Gaethje versus Chandler. Yep. Dude, sick card. But when you talk about Usman versus Covington, this is one of the greatest welterweight fights I've ever seen. Agreed. Two to two going into the fifth. Mm -hmm. Kamaru... Breaks his jaw. Right. Kobe could tell you he didn't break his jaw. That's what, that's what he's saying now. He's saying that now his jaw wasn't broken, but I think he might have said something on the stool yep, he, he that did. his jaw was he broken. Did. He did. Right? Say I it think on my stool. jaw is broken. So, yep. But I mean, it was it was truly a fight between the best welterweight in the world and the second best welterweight in the world. Because for everybody else, love Kobe, hate Kobe. He's a tough son of a gun. Right. And that dude can fight. Yeah, absolutely. But Kamar Usman has even shown. And he's still improving. How right. is this dude getting better, RC? Yeah, and, and, and that and that and that's what's interesting for me, right? And, and to me, how much better is Kamaru Usman now than in their first fight? And also, has Kobe evolved any? And because I kept remembering you saying during the fight that no one was taking was, was taking shots at takedowns, right? These dudes stood up, and it was a stand-up battle for five rounds. The energy, I think. The, the, I think the energy the, it would have took to take in the other guy down yeah. is like, ah, I didn't work. And, and, and the other thing is, too, it's, 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 it's almost like those things cancel out because they're both such good wrestlers. And so what do you see? What adjustments do you think Kobe Covington has, has to make in this fight to see a different result? You know what I think happened in the first fight? I think Kobe, because he had done it on so many different occasions, thought his cardio would wear down Usman. Okay. That's like one of his biggest weapons. He goes so hard that by the time the third round, fourth round, fifth round comes, the guys are melting. Guys spent. He right. did it to Lawler. He did it to RDA. Mm -hmm. But Usman didn't get tired. Usman right. actually looked like the fresher guy, partly because he wasn't taking as much damage. Right. Now, if Covington's going to find success in this fight, he has to wrestle. Mm -hmm. He's got to find ways to get Kamaru Usman down to the ground. Much easier said than done. Mm -hmm. But once again, he is the second if, best welterweight but, in the world but, right but if, now. But if you're Kamaru Usman, are, are you scared of going to the no. ground with Kobe Covington? Usman like, doesn't get taken piece. down, though. Usman, right. like, Usman doesn't get taken down. He, right. I don't think I've ever seen him get taken down in a fight. He's too good. But I also think a lot of times the, his opponents understand how good he, he is as they a don't wrestler shoot as well. On so well, they're not shooting Covington on didn't. Twice, right? For as good as the, Covington the, 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 is. Somebody shot twice in that fight. I can't remember who did. But for oh, as good a wrestler yeah. as Kobe Covington is, right, NCAA All-American at Oregon State, he didn't even shoot against Kamaru right. Usman, right? Usman's so big, he's so physical. And honestly, since joining Trevor Whitman out in Colorado, he's just gotten better. Mm -hmm. And he's getting better every single time we see him. From the Gilbert Burns fight, he looked tremendous. Yep. To the Masvidal fight the second time, mm -hmm. looked tremendous. But we haven't even had to see him use his wrestling in those fights. The dude's a monster, I man. Think, I, th I think what's been most impressive about Usman to me is his ability to absorb punishment. And, and if you watch him, Kobe Covington was hitting him. Yeah, he right? was. But but when he touched Kobe Covington, you could see the effect it was a difference. right away, whether it was a, a body shot or whatever, whereas Kobe Covington was trying to overwhelm him with volume. Yep. Right. Yep, he was like, yep. no, I'm going to keep coming, I'm going to keep coming. But after you start taking some of that punishment, it wears on you. And so that's what I'm looking for in this fight. Does Kamar, does Kamar Usman still feel to himself that, you know what, I can take whatever this dude dishes out? Well, he said that to me the other day, right? I spoke to him and he goes, I, I loved it. He goes, I, I had fun. Mm -hmm. He said, but for my brain and my my life after fighting, I can't be involved in too many of those. Okay. Right? We love those fights, right, where you come out on top and you went to war. But you right. know that you can't do it multiple times in order to uh, live a very, like, healthy, good life. 
Right. You, if, if I uh, did that too 100%. much, you and I would not be sitting here. Absolutely. If you had too many head-to-head concussions, we can't you and I this. would not be sitting here. So uh, those guys understand that uh, Usman cannot fight in the way that he did the first time. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.